So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be a look at your next serious relationship. Now, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat. Hit that notification bell as well. Um, and if at any point while watching this video, you want a personal, um, you want to hit me up on any of my like social medias or anything like that, definitely feel free to check out the description as well as the comment section. I'll try to leave the information there as well. But let's go ahead and get into it. Virgos, their next serious relationship. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So the first set of cards we're going to discuss are the tarot cards. So we have the Hierophant in reverse, the two, no, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Cups. Interesting. So what I'm getting right off the bat, some of you may even have some suitors come your way, but a lot of you either are turning them down because it's not who you want specifically, or like you guys are just kind of fixating on what hasn't worked out in your love life so much so that when this opportunity presents itself, it's like you almost don't even recognize it as an opportunity. Like right off the bat, what I'm getting is with the higher fender reverse, some of you just recently got out of a marriage and you're like divorced now and it's like you're trying to still get your mojo back in terms of opening back up to love and like actually being able to trust that you're not entertaining people where it's not really going to go anywhere and some of you you just again like it's like fixating on the disappointment you've experienced or even rejection you may feel with someone not really wanting to commit and being almost non-committal in a sense So right off the bat, I want to make sure you guys are not turning down opportunities that come your way because an ex didn't see your worth or you guys can't get an ex to come back around. It's making sure you're not denying yourself of the opportunity of love because I am seeing that. It's either you're, you know... Ignoring people who are trying to pursue you or you don't even see people trying to pursue you necessarily. You just see it as like you being unhappy with this current state of your love life and just not really being interested in the people that's coming your way for whatever reason. Hmm. Now, when it comes to these cards, let's see. When it comes to your love life, we have the unrequited love, honeymoon, and stay optimistic about your love life. So, yeah, I think that for some of you, it's really you being distant in regards to love. Like you, you guys may be needing to be more optimistic about your love life, um, especially if you did experience in your past unrequited love where you cared way more about someone and it was seemingly like they didn't care nearly as much as you did. But some of you really are just not that optimistic in terms of opportunities coming your way. And you guys have have new people coming your way. You just need to 
change your outlook. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at these. We have the six health routine. So some of you may be really kind of caught into your own daily routine, like working, coming home, you know, taking care of your family, doing this, doing that. And that routine is almost keeping you from meeting new people. Some of you, it's like, The person that you end up dating in the future may have a, a solid schedule. They may like work, have things to do after work, and they, you know, have like a really tight schedule. And this may be something that may be slightly aggravating for you. OK. We also have 10th house, the world. So, again, I see the energy of focusing on career matters, focusing on things that have to do with um, money, security. You guys may even meet this person at work. This may be somebody who you develop a connection with at work. And for a lot of you, this is like after a cycle of completion happens, you guys are still going through the process of letting go of old energy. We also have air elements. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or the, the biggest thing that needs to be I don't want to say worked on, but one of the biggest things in your next relationship is going to be communication. You may be dealing with somebody who values being able to come to the person and, you know, say certain things or be able to express themselves in certain ways. And yeah, communication is going to be key. I also have Chiron energy, so this is speaking to healing. So for a lot of you, you really do need to allow yourself to heal from past hurts because this is what's blocking you guys and keeping you from experiencing happiness at this moment, okay? Um, and, and meeting someone new. Now, let's discuss these. We have opportunity. So this is, you guys... Being granted an opportunity from the divine, um, this is like literally receiving a miracle. So make sure you guys are paying close attention to the people that come into your life and the role that they're trying to play. We also have compromise. So this is speaking to you understanding that in love, a person cannot be 100% perfect. Nobody can be, okay? Even ourselves as people, we're not perfect. So how can we expect perfection from someone else? So there is going to be some things that are pros and cons about someone, but you do need to find someone where you can work with their energy and you guys can work well with each other and have that balance. Um, and this also is important in the relationship that you and your person have a balance in regards to your wants and needs that you guys are, you know, finding a middle ground for each other. And this next relationship may have a lot to do with compromise. We also have forgiveness and no. So some of you do need to forgive an ex for doing you wrong and not holding on to that disdain for what they may have done to you and using that as fuel to not open up or to experience new love. And some of you need to put your foot down on entertaining connections that you know aren't going anywhere. Now, let's look at these. We have manifesting miracles. It says your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So love is going to come in soon. You guys just need to make sure you're trusting your heart here. We also have it's important to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now it's time to give to yourself. So again, there goes that energy of you guys needing to pursue healing. I really feel like this is important. We also have sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. I feel like this relationship is definitely going to be precious in, in some ways and you guys need to make sure your energy is up for it. Now, if you know who I'm talking about in this reading, this last portion is definitely going to be for you. These are going to be messages from this individual to you. We have unblock me, please, as the first one. 
We have, we need to work on our communication. So this is going back to what we were talking about earlier with communication being very important here. And we also have, I miss you and think about you daily. So you guys definitely have somebody who does think about you and contemplate on what to do with the connection overall. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for you and that you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to thumbs this video up and subscribe so you never miss a beat. Um, if you want a personal, all that information will be below. Feel free to follow me on my socials and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.